welcome to a special segment where I go through my closet and I pick up some clothes that no longer serve my style or I don't wear them or for whatever reason they're just gonna have to go out of my closet which is something I need to do because something else I love is shopping and when you shop you're constantly bringing things in and there needs to be a balance of things going out as well so I'm not wearing all of the things in my closet routinely I'm cycling my favorite pieces so I realistically have to take out the stuff that I'm no longer using and donate it to people that will get use out of it so all of these clothes I've pulled today leaving my closet will be donated and hopefully those people who buy them will wear them and love them as much as I had once done as well if you've been following my channel you know I love shopping and I just constantly bring in new pieces this t-shirts new it's a linen piece from country road this jacket I only got last year the only thing I'm wearing right now that is you know like old faithful are these jeans which I brought from Canada actually there's not many clothes that are still in my closet that I've brought from Canada a lot of those clothes have already rotated out of my closet the last two and a half years and I just want to get some fresh style in so I'm just gonna go through the clothes that I'm donating so let's start off with this this piece was actually a thrift find when I first moved to Wellington. I had just started to look for jobs. Moving into an office setting, I got this t-shirt, which I thought was pretty standard, a black t-shirt with just a little bit of a different detailing at the bottom. It's sort of like a cross between crochet and embroidery. Really nice. It was only $2, so I'm just ready to rotate that out, especially now that I've gotten this new black t-shirt, which is linen. So we're re-donating this to a thrift store. This is a brand name t-shirt. It's Country Road, which is an Australian brand. I had no idea what Country Road was before I moved to the Southern Hemisphere. This piece comes from Portugal. I was in Madeira. I did a beautiful trip there with my mother. I'll link a video if you want to check out my Madeira vlogs. I went shopping at H&M and I got this beautiful dress. It's a bodycon dress in this really nice deep, deep orange color. And it's a good basic to have. It's very gently used as well. I've only worn it a handful of times. I brought it with me thinking I'd use it and I really just haven't reached for it. This is something I've actually shown in a video on this channel. It's from the workwear haul I got from Max Clothes. I just never really got the wear out of this top that I wanted to. It's not my style anymore. It's sort of a little bit meh. It's a little bit like frumpy for me. I don't think it flatters my figure. So I hope someone likes this because it's actually really gently used. I've only worn it a handful of times. Speaking of clothes from Canada that I'm getting rid of or have donated, I'm just not a plaid flannel girl. I've worn this a handful of times, especially in my first year when I wasn't working. But honestly, I haven't reached for it in almost a year and a half. So that's just too long sitting in a closet of not wearing it. We're gonna be saying goodbye to this, although it is really cold out and this is definitely perfect cold weather clothes so someone should probably make use of this really soon I love thrifting this is another thrift find from back home I got this in Ottawa when my thrifting interest was at its peak I was thrifting weekly at that stage and I found this really cute dress I think I paid like about ten dollars for this dress I wore it in Hawaii it's a beautiful dress I just have other nice dresses since then that I've been wearing and I really haven't worn this and I think it's time that someone else get use out of this super cute dress. I'm donating this tank top from Kmart. I just don't reach for it and I've recently purchased a beautiful black tank top from Country Road that I'm going to be wearing a lot more than this. So I purchased this in 2019 when I was living in Mount Manganui. I really liked the style at the time but I just have outgrown the look of it and it's a little bit of a hard one because I really love the pattern of it. I just don't wear it. I'm donating this one and then the exact same skirt in a different print I'm also donating. I got some good wear out of these skirts though. They weren't really made well. They're very cheap quality as well. So that's another reason why they're gonna move out because lately I've just really liked investing in quality clothing rather than fast fashion, cheaply made. These ones, like there's uneven seams. It's not really held up together. We've got some like tearing a bit. I don't know if they'll even be able to resell this at the thrift store or they'll just have to throw it away. But you know, the bones are there. So I'm gonna donate it anyway and see what happens. But it's a cute print, isn't it? I love the blue with the polka dot. I got this in Hawaii. It's just a sweat wicking workout top. So it's made out of this material that really dries fast when you're working out. I love the color. I love that it has this detail on the back. 
it's just not a flattering fit for me. It really does cling to everything. And when you're in the gym and you're looking at those lights that are similar to this, they're like top down. It literally shows everything. So someone else can wear this top. Here's a top from Canada that I brought with me. It's a basic top from American Eagle, like a tank top. I've since purchased a new white tank top that fits me a little bit better and is a little bit higher quality. This top is a very loose fitting linen top in a bright yellow. I bought it because it was on sale at Zara and I never had anything in my closet that was this color. Still don't, still love the color, but I just think it looks a little bit tired on me and I think someone else will probably enjoy this top. This is a cute dress and I really like the color. It's got a nice sort of detail. It's just not really well made for me and I haven't been wearing it a lot. Also, I find these really skinny straps are not super flattering on my body type. So I'm trying to avoid clothes that have thin straps and I prefer more of a wider strap. So that's why this one's coming out, but it is cute. I think someone will probably snatch this up really fast it's from a brand here called cotton on which is a really popular fast fashion brand here's another workout shirt like I said I just have so many other workout tops that I prefer to wear now that fit me a lot better and I've had this one for years so I've definitely gotten my use out of it someone else can benefit from a quick dry sweat wicking workout top someone's gonna get lucky this is a very gently used Uniqlo jacket I bought this in Toronto it is a hundred percent waterproof and wind Proof. It just doesn't fit me right anymore. It's also not super practical for Wellington rain because it is so short. It doesn't protect your legs from all the wind that gets blown in Wellington when it rains and like your legs just definitely get wet. So I actually recently bought another rain jacket here from Lululemon that goes down to my knees. But this one is amazing for travel. It's made out of this anti-wrinkle fabric. It's 100% waterproof, but the outside looks like fabric. It doesn't look like your typical rain jacket. You know what I mean like that nylon it actually looks like a jacket but it's totally has all the tech for you and even like really well made details this is such a gently used jacket as well it folds away into the smallest little size someone's really gonna have a good find when they get this. I think I paid about $100 for this and it's a really good jacket. This is just a fail of me trying to go out of my comfort zone and it not working. I do not wear crop tops to the gym. I always opt for a t-shirt. I've never worn this. I got this from Cotton On. It's just like a workout kind of style with sort of a built-in bra. I've never worn it. I think I paid 10 bucks for it maybe. I don't even know. We've got one pair of pants. This is a denim jean from Max. It's going because it just doesn't really flatter my figure anymore. I'm not a huge fan of these buttons. I think that it kind of like sticks out because it's so high-waisted. I also have a pretty small torso so the high-waisted on me comes up super high almost like to the boob which is not flattering. It's a pretty trendy jean with a raw hem at the end. Very high-waisted. Last but not least we've got a linen t-shirt that really didn't survive a wash but the linen just started to get kind of itchy on me. I'll donate it. I'm not sure if they can resell it it's a little bit worse for wear but maybe somebody will want it I mean it is linen that's why I'm donating it instead of just binning it but those are all the clothes that I'm donating and I have one pair of shoes to show you as well I am donating this pair of Skechers sneakers definitely worn them the reason I'm getting rid of them is I've purchased other sneakers that are better quality for my feet I've since realized that these are actually a touch too small for me and they squeeze my feet a little too much so someone should be able to to get some good use out of them. Okay, so that's all the clothes that I'm getting rid of. It's the 18th of March today, so hopefully we'll do another video in the next couple months or so, half a year, and get rid of some other clothes and bring in some new clothes. I haven't been doing any videos showing you what I've been purchasing, but there's definitely stuff coming in. One thing I just bought yesterday is this new day bag. It's so cute. It's from this Australian brand called Mimco. I've never heard of it. I just bought it purely based off of how nice I thought the details of it were. It is a beautifully sized bag for day wear. So when I'm going on trips, this is what I would wear as my day bag. I used to have one like this that was amazing and I'd still be using it if it hadn't broken. The zipper totally broke on it, so I needed to replace it, and I found this yesterday while I was just browsing through David Jones in the sales. But here it is. 
It's the perfect size to just put a water bottle, sunscreen, you know, a camera when you're out exploring for the day. So that's just, for example, some things that I shop for and I don't show on the vlog, but yeah, they're definitely coming in my closet. Okay, so I could ramble on and on, but let's cut this segment here. Thank you so much for watching my closet clear out. Hopefully you got some inspiration to clear out your closet, get rid of some of the old things that aren't serving you anymore so you can make room for the things that do. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in another update. Bye!